If you look on the bottom of your screen, you'll see what's called the playlist. This is where you arrange the patterns you've created in your song. To add a pattern to your song, you must first go to the Add Track button. Then select the instrument or device you wish to arrange. In this case, I want to arrange the machinist, so I'll select that. For each device, there's many options, and it may seem a little confusing to you at first. However, with some explanation and practice, you'll come to understand exactly what they mean. For now, I'd like you to concentrate on the Pattern Track and Note Track options. Pattern Track is used to tell Audio Tool which patterns play from the ones you've already programmed in on the device itself, whereas Note Track gives you a direct editing matrix called the Piano Roll from which to edit your patterns in the playlist directly, rather than on the device itself. At this point, you'll want to use Pattern Track on all of your tracks. Now that you've added a lane for your device patterns, you can draw your loops into the playlist. To do so, left-click twice in the playlist grid. You'll see a box come up with a letter and a number. This represents the pattern bank and number on your device's pattern selector area. If we look on our machinist, we can see that our pattern is set to bank A on pattern 1, hence the A1. Therefore, every time you place an A1 block in the playlist, the program will go through one iteration of the A1 loop, that is, once from left to right, 1 through 16 in the machinist window. Another thing you can do in the playlist is drag the length of your boxes to form longer loops. Do this by clicking and holding the right edge of your box and moving your mouse left or right. On that note, you want to make sure that you always have everything looping either the length of one, two, or four boxes placed side by side. That is, one section should be about four iterations of the loop, or the length of four boxes in a row. To change the length of your playlist loop, that is, how many times it loops throughout your song, move the blue arrows on the top of the playlist to select the range you want to loop. In this case, I want my pattern to loop four times. Now it's time to learn how to make a fill. Now, drum patterns get pretty boring if they loop forever in the exact same manner. It's for this reason that you'll want to make small changes to your pattern throughout the song. By doing this, your loops will be a lot more dynamic and your song overall will sound a lot more interesting. We can build on the pattern that we already have. To do this, the first step is to click in the top white bit in your machinist. You'll see a small gray circle with a triangle pop up. This will open up into a menu of editing functions you can execute. Select Copy Pattern and Pattern 1. This copies the pattern you made initially into the clipboard memory. Then do the same thing, except select Paste in Pattern 2. This copies the loop into the Pattern 2 loop in the Machinist Pattern Selector. At this point, it's worth noting that if you have patterns on a pattern track already drawn into the playlist, you'll need to disable the lane temporarily to edit and hear your second pattern. If you do not, upon selecting the second pattern, you'll receive an error message that this has been done automatically. To disable or enable a track lane, click the small circle by the name of your lane. Good. Now that that's done, I can continue to edit my second pattern. You'll want to add in a small change to your pattern to make it vary from the first. This is called a fill. While there are no exact precise rules to creating these variations, there are a few points you want to keep in mind. Firstly, you want to keep the pattern more or less the same. This is important to maintain the flow of the drum beat and to gel the two patterns together. Secondly, you will want to concentrate your extra notes more towards the end of the pattern. The reasoning behind this isn't so important. Just know for now that it is so. Keeping these things in mind, I'm going to program my second pattern. Note how I don't change anything too drastic. It's just a few extra notes towards the end.
Now comes the good part, joining my two patterns together in the playlist. To do this, select an existing block in your pattern track by clicking on it, and click on the small gray circle that pops up. Go to Switch Pattern AN2. This will tell the pattern track to use the second pattern we made for that block instead of the first. You can confirm this by seeing A2 on the block. Let's hear what it sounds like, and also don't forget to enable the lane if you disabled it from editing, or you won't get the pattern to change. Nice. I'm going to make one more fill, this time a little more intense to add to my song. I'll repeat all the things I just showed you before. Copy your first pattern and paste it to your desired pattern, in this case the third, and edit the loop slightly towards the end. This time though I'm going to make the changes a little more drastic. There we go. Now we'll copy the entire four blocks on my playlist loop over by dragging a box around them and holding the control button. I'll then drag them over to copy them. After pulling the loop selection headers to compensate, this will take my four bar loop and turn it into an eight bar loop. Lastly, I will change the very last box from A2 to A3. Now I have a full section of a song ready to loop.